I would really want to look at this to figure out a different solution for you. Yeah. You know, because at 55, you could take money from your, you know, 401k plan, in this case, your TSP plan without any penalties. So I would probably do that before I tap into the Roth. All right, let's go to Rob from Virginia. Uh, team, thank you again for a great show in the humor in how you answer these questions. Humorous. Are we? I thought they were factual. <laughs> well, Why not I guess both? We, I guess we laugh sometimes. I guess. Maybe, well, maybe, we, maybe we think it's funny. Yeah. I don't know if anyone else does. I have a question about my Roth IRA and Roth TSP. It has nothing to do with the Megatron or backdoor. Okay, well, thank you for that. Um, I've had my Roth IRA for 15 years and began funding the Roth side of my TSP five years ago. I intend to transfer the Roth portion of the TSP to my Roth IRA whenever I decide to retire from the military. With that in mind, will all the contributions I've made from my Roth TSP over the years be counted as contributions in my Roth IRA? Or would the entire value of the Roth TSP count as the contribution when it transferred to my Roth IRA? Is there some other rules that I'm missing? I understand that Roth IRA contributions can always be accessed without penalty in that contributions are considered to be the first portion withdrawn from the account. What I don't understand is how or if that would change once another retirement plan, such as the Roth TSP, is brought over. I'm trying to keep track of how much of my Roth money can be assessed without penalty to use as a potential bridge from my late 50s to 59 and a half. Okay, I drive a 2020 Camry. I like a good old fashioned when cocktails are on the menu or Bud Light from those magnificent blue cans went out on the course. Cheers, Rob from Virginia. All right, Rob, well, thank you for your service. Um, There's got to be a better way. Um, uh, We will answer your question, but I would not want you to tap into the Roth IRA as your bridge account. If you're going to retire from your late fifties to 59 and a half, yeah. you're, you're too young to start tapping into the tax-free dollars, right? You want to make sure that that's going to be your pool of money that you can really control your taxes long-term. He's been in the military for a while. I'm guessing he's going to have a pension. I'm guessing he's done a good job saving into his TSP plan. So tax diversification is going to be key for him. So taking the money from that, I just don't think is probably the right answer. Um, but yeah, hundred percent agree Be, because he, here's how you, maybe you want to think about it is you, 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 you are going to have a pension, right? So maybe that's not going to cover all your expenses and that's okay. Maybe you have other retirement accounts, but the Roth, ideally you want to keep your Roth for later on. So, so you have your pension, you have what other kind of fixed income, maybe social security, maybe whatever you'll have some pension IRA money, that sort of thing that comes to you is taxable. So you, you, you're kind of going along at a, at a certain level. You're trying to stay out of higher brackets. And the way that you do that is you take only so much from taxable accounts and you take the rest out of Roth. And if you use it all up in that, or mostly up in that 10 year period, you, you've really kind of blown your chance to be in a great tax bracket the rest of your life. So here's the answer. So he's talking about a five-year clock in regards to the overall Roth in that contributions can be taken out without any taxes because you've already paid the tax on it. If you roll your Roth TSP into the Roth IRA, the entire amount is not your contribution. Just your contributions are going to count as contributions. Right. Um, Because you have growth on your contributions that were in the Roth TSP. So um, you're going to, you might even want to roll it into a different Roth IRA. Um, no, you don't want to do that either if you're going to take the money out because then that's going to blow up your five-year clock. Um, and so there's, it's going to be pretty hard for the IRS really to track everything. So you're going to roll it in. There, your contributions of the TSP is going to count as contributions. Your contributions for the Roth IRA is going to be FIFO tax free, and you can take that money out without any taxes. But I would really want to look at this to figure out a different solution for you. Yeah. You know, because at 55, you could take money from your, you know, 401k plan, in this case, your TSP plan without any penalties. So I would probably do that before I tap into the Roth because you, 
or you could do a 72 T tax election. Yeah. Um, that could bridge the gap. If you want to retire, let's say at 58 and you just want a few years, um, you have to pull the money out for five years or 59 and a half, whichever's, um, later, but I, I, the, the Roth would probably be my last choice. Yeah. One, one thing about taking money out of a, out of a 401k or, or TSP, uh, you have to retire at age 55 to be able to follow that rule. So in other words, you retire in your current job with a plan at age 55, then you can pull that money out without penalty. But yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah, I would, I would much rather have you use other sources of, of funds or gosh, maybe even get a little part-time job. Try to guard that Roth. That's hard to get that money in and you want to let it grow and, and be accessible for the rest of your life. Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com.